If you are thinking about starting a family, maybe you're currently pregnant or even have a small child, you might be thinking, what do I need to sacrifice to take really good care of this small human being? Do I need to let go of all my personal goals in order to be a good parent? Once you are in your late 20s or early 30s, you might get this sense of urgency for wanting to achieve something, accomplish something. You might be thinking, oh, I've been on this planet for so long, what did I actually achieve? Or if you have already achieved some of your goals, you got the taste of it and you want to keep going and accomplish even more. But you might be also thinking about starting a family and then the question is, do you have to give up your personal goals? Once you have your child, your personal goals are no longer as important to you as they might have seen before and you find this fulfillment and energy from looking after your child and that's okay in that case you just postpone or even completely abandon your goals problem solved or you may feel that your personal goals can wait a few years because you don't want to give up any time that you might have with your child and you don't want to be focusing 100% on your child and at the same time 100% on your personal goals. So you just postpone your personal goals. Problem solved. In the third scenario, the personal goals is something that is actually giving you energy. It's something that makes you you. Giving up on your goals would mean that you become this not a nice person to be around to be honest and not a good parent not a good partner so what to do in this case and is there a solution to this we see a lot of successful people that have multiple kids and great fulfilling careers and often what i hear people say is it's because they have nannies and cleaners and personal assistants and servants at home and i don't know what and yes in many cases that is the truth but i don't think that we need to have all that help in order to reach our personal goals so how do you do it as usual there is no real secret to it it's all about organization prioritization commitment and hard work when i was pregnant i thought about all those things a lot i had a friend who was very very ambitious before she had a child and then after she had a child she told me that even though she still enjoys her sport, she is no longer as passionate or as driven as she used to be. And as she was way more ambitious in the first place compared to me, it freaked me out. If this person lost her ambition and passion, what's going to happen to me? And I was really scared that once I have my child, I will stop being me. But this did not happen. If anything, the complete opposite thing happened. Before my child, I was very cautious. I tried to achieve my personal goals, but I was not 100% in it. So I would not be willing to pay for a better coach or for a course to learn something new. The first three months of having a child, my life was a blur. Uh, there is not much I can even remember from that time. But after I got into the routine of being a mom, I suddenly had this urge and the need of going back to my personal goals and started working on them. Not only did I felt that I needed to be energized and be positive and uh, in a good mood, but I also felt I need to do it for my daughter. So you know how when you're a child you're doing things to make your parents proud? Well, this was very similar but like 10 times more intensive. I felt that if I want the best for my daughter, if I want her to pursue her dreams and achieve the best, then I need to show her that myself. I can't ask her to go and you know, do courageous things and, you know, step outside of her comfort zone if I don't do it in the first place. So this was the reason why I actually started my YouTube channel. So I've been talking about having a YouTube channel for years and years and years, and I had all the time in the world, but I did not have the courage. Four months after having my daughter, I did not have the time, but I had the courage. And once you have the courage, nothing is going to stop you. If 
you are willing to make the first step and start working towards your goal and you're serious about it, you will find the time for it. We all have 24 hours. As a parent, you spend a lot of those 24 hours together with your child, but your child sleeps a lot as well. And it's up to you how you spend that time when your child is asleep. In the first few months, you might just need to catch up on your sleep, but once your child gets into a routine of sleeping quite well, you have a decision to make. You need to spend your time in a way that energizes you. For some people, it might be cleaning their house and preparing food and making their house feel homey. But for other people, it might be pursuing their personal goals because this is what gives them energy. And your personal goal can be anything. It can be getting into shape, writing a book, preparing for a marathon, learning something new, anything. You have the time for it and you don't have to sacrifice being a good parent. But there will be things that need to be neglected in order for you to actually have the time to pursue your goal. You know, you might need to neglect your house, your friends or other hobbies. It's up to you to choose what energizes you and what is important for you at this time. My daughter just celebrated two years. We, my husband, my daughter and I live in a country where we don't have any family. Our daughter doesn't go to kindergarten and both my husband and I, we have full-time jobs. My husband works fully from home and I work from home three days a week and two days I work from the office with flexible hours. I also try to be competitive in CrossFit, which means I train six times a week, two to three hours a day. My husband trains CrossFit as well usually an hour or two a day and I also try to have a YouTube channel so how do we do that and don't feel like we are neglecting our daughter number one when I do something I focus 100% so when I'm at work I don't check social media I don't check the news I do time blocking I try to be as organized as possible I try to keep track of all my tasks so that nothing slips my mind and is forgotten when I'm training I try to do that with 100% focus as well what it means is not only that I give my all but for example I take the extra effort during warm-up to focus on my technique so I'm not only warming up but I'm actually improving my technique as well when I'm with my daughter I try to be with my daughter 100% that means means I really put effort into how we are spending time and most importantly I try to give her my undivided attention and Saturdays and half Sundays for us as a family means that we are traveling and exploring Australia number two prioritize family work CrossFit and YouTube those are four things that are really really important for me and are currently my highest priorities that means that everything else is either a no or is done with minimal effort and time involved. What it means, for example, when I cook, I cook so it supports our performance in CrossFit and it's healthy, but it needs to be very, very quick and very easy. I could spend way more time cleaning our house, but I just don't want to. I don't want to spend the time on it because I have other priorities. Number three, consistency. You want to reach your goals in two months. You need to make sure that it is sustainable and enjoyable. Number four, support. The people that you live with or you interact with on a daily basis, they need to understand what you're doing, why you're doing, why it is important to you and what it means for them. Will they have to sacrifice something? Will they have to take on some more things and what is it in it for them. So for example, in order to be competitive in CrossFit, I train two to three hours a day. My husband trains about an hour a day. We don't have a family around, so we take our daughter with us and then one of us trains and the other one is with our daughter. In order for me to train as much, my husband can't train as much as he would like to and he also needs to take care of our daughter for a longer time. So I know that CrossFit for him is not as important as it is for me. So here he sacrifices something. And then in return, I know that what is really, really important for him is to travel and explore Australia. So I make sure that I keep my Saturdays 
off so that we can actually do that together and go and do something that is really, really important for him. Number five, routine. Get into routine and eliminate decisions. If you do something at the same time, always, you don't have to think about it. You don't have to use your brain power. Save it for something that is actually important to make decision about. If you are working on your goals, work on your goals at the same time every day or every week. Similarly, with your child, you don't have to think every day, oh, what should we do? Just have some kind of routine. You know? Sunday morning, you go for swimming lessons. Monday afternoons, you draw whatever it is your child will enjoy it as well because children like routine and predictability as well and finally number six revisit your goals review your goals regularly and update them so they stay relevant make sure that what you're doing actually makes sense and is moving you towards your goal if you've been stuck for months in one place take the time think about what you can change sometimes it needs to be something within that goal but oftentimes it's something that is outside of that maybe you don't have as much energy because you are doing a lot of things outside of achieving your personal goal maybe you need to delegate something maybe you need to completely say no to something or you can maybe batch some things together so you save some time and energy. And sometimes, sometimes you need to pause on pursuing your goals and change something there. Now, we are sometimes too ambitious. We can't do everything at the same time. So I, for example, had to pause my YouTube channel for over two months. I haven't uploaded any new content. And the reason was because at work I got new promotion, a lot of new tasks, new people. I also started training with a different program in CrossFit. There was a lot of new things and I knew that I can't just do everything at the same time and I have to pause something and change something. So I paused YouTube and I focused fully on CrossFit and work and I was trying to get into routine, get the hang of those things and now that I feel I am comfortable with what I am doing, I know what I'm doing, I can now take on this YouTube bag and start working towards that goal as well. We have to think long term, it's a long game, so we need to make it sustainable and enjoyable and we need to have the energy for it. It needs to energize us. If it's draining our energy, it's not the right thing to do. Let me know down below if you also are a parent and following your dreams and reaching your personal goals. How do you do that? What do you feel is the reason you're able to succeed in this? Thanks for watching, like this video, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.